Now we're going to learn about our online government from Sarah Schott. Please welcome Sarah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah Schott, and I'm executive director and founder of Knowledge is Power, a nonprofit online service for Washingtonians to track legislative information and communicate with their legislators. My passion is helping individuals become effective citizens, and I do that by helping them participate in the legislative process. Um, if you don't know how it works, there is a suggestion, and um, but the biggest thing to know about it is that it's a slow, deliberative process. It was created over 200 years ago and meant to bring a lot of voices in and create stability in our government. However, <laughs> today we have Web 2.0 tools, we have email, we have all these ways to communicate, and they don't necessarily match up well with the slow, deliberative process. And um, right now, whether you're in state government or federal, if you're in government, you are absolutely overwhelmed by the communications coming to you. And if you're a citizen, you're trying to participate more and more because there's an increasing number of issues that impact you and laws that impact your life. In the states, the challenges they face are one, they're using Outlook to manage 800 to 3,000 emails a day with peaks of 8,000, 16,000, um, hundreds of thousands of form letters. And form letters, by the way, Send 40,000, one is read by an intern. Um, so it lowers the overall value. On the federal level, same issues. They have another convoluted system to manage their email. Um, but if you send a hard copy letter, it's gonna take six weeks to go through because of the anthrax scare, it has to be irradiated. Um, and this causes big problems for legislators and for citizens. I highly recommend watching Mr. Smith Goes to Washington because that movie was filmed in 1938 and things haven't changed that much. Um, one, <laughs> one, citizens are just sending so much in that um, it's an overwhelming uh, situation for legislators. And two, if you're a constituent and you have a real problem that you need dealt with right now, your child is off of WIC, your whatever, um, your email, your phone call is at the bottom of a stack of 80,000. Um, so what we're having problems with, one, is that organizations in their drive to get their message through and their legislation enacted are using AstroTurf kind of grassroots organizations. So that's form letters, that's petitions, that's phone call drives. And what happens is, you know, only a third of the emails or the form letters that they receive, legislators receive, they believe to be real people. It's lowering the value. So personal voices really do matter, and if you want an excellent example of that, I highly recommend looking up the Wild Horse people. They did an amazing job, just loose coalition nationally. Um, and if you want to put new technology into government, God bless you, but they are going to push back so hard because they are having trouble dealing with the technology they have right now. Um, California is just way behind, um, so is Washington State. But the bigger issue, how can you be effective? How can you impact the laws that impact you? And I have three things that I think are really important for people to keep in mind. One, be knowledgeable about the topic you care about. Two, be personable. And three, get active about it. Um, that's what happens when you transfer from Keynote to PowerPoint. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so um, <laughs> to be knowledgeable, um, one, narrow your issues. Don't just advocate on any issue that comes by your email inbox. Um, what are the things that matter to you that impact your life? Two, get knowledgeable about the legislative process and the timing of it. Three, or, no, sorry, this is two. Um, personable, speak with your own voice. Don't let anybody send an email on your behalf without your own words in it. Um, a paragraph, five minutes of your time, it's well worth it. Um, get active, write an email or a letter. Letters are still fine. Um, and try to make sure that you meet with people in person or follow up with them. Um, Outside of legislative process or the legislative uh, timing is a great time to talk. They're in your district, they're in your neighborhood. Finally, don't forget that you are a powerful individual. You are the most powerful citizen on earth. And many people are jealous of the power you have. Use it and use it wisely. Um, Finally, knowledgeispower.org. We're up live here in Washington State. You can come check us out. We have a lot of tools that ease participation in the legislative process. We do things from uh, translating legalese into eighth grade level English for you, timelines, all these different things. And it's a beta, so it might be broken if you come to it tonight. But um, <laughs> we're working on it. And um, I'm always up for talking to people about 
it or how to participate more effectively in the legislative process. Um, my name is Sarah Schott. You can find me online at knowledgeaspower.org. And, um, and the quote didn't work, but I will read it for you. Knowledge will, ever forget, for, will forever govern ignorance, and uh, people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power that knowledge gives. And uh, it's Thomas Jefferson. Thanks so much. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you.